We're at the end of Pride Month. Time to commemorate with a Pride Challenge. What's poppin' everyone? It's your boy Levi, and this is going to be a more personal video. I'm just going to talk about being LGBT. The background was a fun little challenge I did. I wanted a rainbow of items, so I have one of each color item excluding my weapon, and I tried to get a win with it. Here's how it went. I don't typically do much for Pride Month each year. Maybe like a selfie on Twitter with my flags, which will probably go up after this video is published. So peep the Twitter to check that out. But I wanted to at least make a video for it this year. For starters, I identify as aromantic pansexual. I grew up in a pretty Christian Catholic household under the impression that I had to be heterosexual. I personally didn't have any terrible experiences because of it. I didn't feel like I was a queer hiding in a straight person's body or anything. And I generally thought that I was straight at the time. I played a lot of sports growing up and thankfully my team was never the hetero jocks that get portrayed in media. They never bullied any of the queer kids at school or tried to alienate them or anything like that. They more so just didn't hang out with each other. However, I did hang out with them. A lot of my friends throughout high school were theater kids. And talking to some of my queer friends was how I realized that I might be queer too. When I eventually came out to my parents, it didn't really go so well. I'm an only child and my mother is a little obsessed with continuing the bloodline. We had conversations about if I were to date a partner of the same sex, I would still need to find someone to have kids with. Which at the time I didn't know, but is incredibly toxic. Thankfully, despite what my parents may think, they really can only tell you what to do until you're an adult. I mentioned I came out to my parents, but I hadn't come out to my friends until a few years ago. Actually, a few pride months had gone by before I came out. And that's okay. If you don't come out, but you still want to celebrate Pride, you can. You'll come out when you're ready. You're valid, and we love you regardless. I actually only came out as Arrow during last year's Pride. Being a romantic is a little confusing for me, but it's what feels most comfortable. I'm heavily into romance and consuming romance through media, but there's just something about relationships that make me a little bit uncomfortable. That being said, my current partner is very accommodating of how I make me feel, and I appreciate them a lot for it. The Eternal Return community to me feels like a very queer-friendly space. Besides the community being very welcoming, it feels like a very safe place for queer people. I can't speak for every creator in the community, but I know a lot of them personally, and they're either a part of the LGBT community or very accepting of them. Thanks so much for watching if you made it to this point. I hope you found some comfort in this video if you're part of the LGBT yourself. Happy Pride again. Like the video if you're a queer or an ally, and subscribe for more videos similar to this one, and I'll see you in the next one.